Welcome to the Core Design Year of 2018, the 54 students. If you were given an opportunity to build a university from the scratch, from the ground up, what should you do? Replicate or innovate? We chose the latter. We brought in 54 students working with experienced professors from over the world to create a special year, the co-design year. I used to think that the co-design year was a way of building the program with faculty and students together. I now understand it to be something different. By bringing together a group of individuals in a shared commitment, in this case, to learning, you produce something more than courses and policies and other features of a university. You produce a shared community of committed learners. Fulbright wants to learn from liberal arts education that has been existing in North America and Europe for several hundred years. But the university doesn't adopt, it adapts. And by having this co-design year, it helps the university with its adaptation approach. So this university is built for Vietnamese students. Therefore, who would be a better builder than the Vietnamese students themselves? It does not make sense to build a university from the ground up to empower students without involving students in the process. Only by joining faculty to co-design classes did I realize the importance of prototype in producing high-quality products. If we consider Fulbright University Vietnam as a product, it helps us to reduce flaws, shortcomings in our curriculum, and as well break on the stereotype in Vietnamese students and higher education in Vietnam. And I actually like the idea that the school is built up for us, the student, and that the student would have um, a voice to speak up. We share, negotiate, enrich, and modify a collective understanding of Fulbright's uh, cult of ethics, academic commitments, uh, co-working atmosphere, and adaptive spirit. Because the Fulbright University project is so new on all levels, it is necessary for all the voices to be heard in the process to ensure that authentic innovation can take place and to drive the university in the direction that truly promotes growth in all parties involved, for Vietnam and for the world. For this week, actually for the whole module, we're learning how history and culture are shaped and interpreted. Before I come to Fulbright, I assume that I know myself well, so I know uh, my vision of life and my goal in life. But actually not. In the college year, we have um, opportunity for the student to earn many uh, different kind of academic area. So, and we have time for the student to uh, reflect on what we are doing and what happening here. Step by step, the college year helped me to understand myself well. For me, the co-design years is one on the memory store with emotions and the never-ceasing spirit of moving forward, regardless of how massive the uncertainty is. As the biggest things I've learned from this year is firstly in integrity, and the second thing is that uh, I could find peace uh, in uncertainty. I was blown away by the ideas that uh, fail fast and learn fast, which means it's okay to be failed, but as long as we learn from it. The truth is we're always afraid to make mistakes, myself included. 
My most memorable experience of this is during the co-design rhetoric module when I and my co-teacher um, made our decision-making about the future of the module truly transparent and made ourselves very vulnerable to criticism in front of 18 co-designers. It was a truly scary moment, but it paid off. I remember there was a time my group and I had to redo our entire project in very little time after our arguments were found unconvincing. The professors uh, set very high standard of work and keep pushing our limits. By challenging our limits, uh, we grow much faster and enjoy the process of learning much more. The adaptive spirit also shows in our extracurriculum activities. Uh, I will never forget the first pitch with the board of directors when our upgrade proposals were rejected. We wanted to promote STEAM education and design thinking in Vietnam, and we wish to do so through three talk shows and one summer camp. It was the first time that we were rejected, and also the first time that we cried together. But um, together we modified our methods and objectives and now we're still working on the project to head to the second trial. I still remember what Professor Ming told us. Um, he told us to think big and start small. Until today, I can still tell you how, how grateful I am for the help that we got from the faculty and the staff. In September 2018, Chị Hai and I, we founded uh, Full Pride and Alliance. It took us a lot, time, energy, tears. For the first two months, no one really wanted to join us. So facing such difficulty, we felt really motivated to keep going. And for the first time in November, we had organized successfully the Uncovering Stereotype with a lot of support from faculty members. I used to experience a huge crisis of such like over expectation and miscommunication from other parties related. Throughout the reflection, I've received the explanation, which were enough for me to understand that we're all learning and growing together. I remember one of our great advisors, Mark Somerville, said to us, even if nothing works, you will always learn something. So this year, I've learned to be much younger. It's been a great time this year to depart from the world that we think is right and enter a new one, a very young one. Nothing is more important to an educational environment, not the curriculum, not the policies, not the reputation. Uh, nothing is more important than a community of learners who are committed to learning together. We've been able to build this at Fulbright, and I think that Fulbright can model not only how to make this environment, but what kinds of great results this kind of environment can produce. <laughs>